If I drag and drop that in motion box, as you can see, what happened is that it parsed the video folder. So here are local video file. Okay, local video file. So I can play one. As you can see, it starts really quick because it's local. You know, and it's it works fine, and it's and that's a pretty big video file here. Now it also parsed the the all the folder inside of it. So as you can see, there's capture there, there's storage, test, videos, videos, you know, a bunch of videos. And so, yeah, for instance, I mean, we could play, uh, yeah, Daft here, for instance. And um, yeah, and so your question was about so, okay, can we both look at videos? So I'll answer that and switch between my file and a YouTube video. Okay, you can do that. So here I'm playing uh, Daft, for instance. Let me add it to my playlist back there, actually. So it's now Daft is here, so I can play it back. Uh, let me add another local file. Another one there, you know. And then let me go back there. And you know what? Let me add 35 minutes of Witcher gameplay, which is, uh, yeah, which is just The Witcher. Now, if I go back to here and I type browse again, it resets my browsing and I can, like I showed previously, browse the entire web, which is essentially th uh, happening through DuckDuckGo right now, but hopefully at one point it will happen through other search engine and maybe some funky stuff, like things like uh, maybe I'll implement uh, an accessor for ZeroNet, for instance. Uh, for those of you who don't know this one, it's uh, pretty much a decentralized website system. And so that interests me for Motionbox because since I'm currently implementing Torrent, having a torrented um, web working in the background, if you will, is interesting. Especially to store your playlist, your public playlist, because you don't want to pay a very expensive server to do a very expensive server to do so. So yeah, if I go back there and click on IGN, maybe I want to take an IGN uh, native video file from their website, for instance, and put it there. You know, maybe I want to do that. Why not? By the way, if you click related on that track, that's very cool because it shows you, well, that's very abstract too here because the <laughs> title are very generic, but it shows you all the native related tracks that we found on this website. At least it should do it. Yeah, that's what it does. And so here's an example of how related can work for other things besides YouTube's tracks and besides the tracks that you might find on the tree supported backends. But anyway, so if now I play this and then do previews, then it's connecting to YouTube and playing YouTube. And if I do next, connecting to my hard drive again, you know, you get the idea. And then connecting to a freaking native file on the IGN website. 